What is good everybody? Welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today we're back with brand new WWE action figure news. Yes, WrestleMania access is approaching us very quick like we got like a month less than a month I think it's like four and a half or maybe five weeks total until we get to Wrestlemania and in Wrestlemania they're going to be having Wrestlemania Axis yes Wrestlemania Axis is the big event that they do every single it's not a big event but it is a sort of setup display piece where they set up all kinds of new WWE action figures and things that we're going to be getting in the coming year of 2023 or whatever year it is and on into 2024 I believe like they they put it all out there and everything like that and with that I I think we are going to see an announcement of the next Mattel crowdfunding project that will be on display there apparently it's in the works all those different things but today we got some updates we got some news we got some things to cover from the wrestling figure forums from our man Steve Ozer action figure attack big member of the WWE action figure Mattel design team over there and so we have some questions that he answered and you know we have a little bit of insight into what we're going to be seeing and things like that so with that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into today's video and discuss these things because I think it's very interesting and with access coming very soon, what better time than this? And this happened, I think, a couple days ago on the forums and things like that. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. The first screenshot that I have right here, somebody asked him, they say, Hey, Steve, not sure if this is asking too much right now, but what should we expect price-wise for the next crowdfunding project? Should we expect it above the price of the new gen arena or will it be around the same Thanks in advance. Now, Steve does reply to this. He says, it'll be more than the new gen arena. Check out this interview for the latest. And that is when he went on the Turnbuckle Tavern. We discussed that a little bit already. He went on there. He put some info in there. But we already knew this a couple, uh, I want to say it was a couple months ago. Or maybe it was a few weeks back. I remember coming on here and telling you guys that he, he put this on the forums. I don't have the screenshot or I tried to find the screenshot. But he says... In detail, he said that it's, he, it was kind of like a warning a little bit. He said, you know what, it's going to be worth it. He did say that. He said, it's going to be worth it, but it is going to be more pricey than the new gen arena. So I imagine that uh, it's going to be great. I'm, I'm very excited for this Mattel crowdfunder. I don't know what that could entail. I mean, the last crowdfunder was great. I hope this one even jumps bounds beyond that. But it is going to be more than the new gen arena. I think the new gen arena was 250 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. I want to say it was 250 bucks. Uh, maybe $249.99 or $250 straight up. And so we got all kinds of different stuff with that, of course. We, it, it, I mean, it's been over a year now since we've gotten that and stuff. Maybe not since we've gotten it, but you know what I mean. It's been a while since we had that announced and we covered the whole things and went through the bells and whistles and all the stuff. But the next thing that he says, and this actually has to do with the Mattel crowdfunder, he says, Steve, could you confirm slash say if the next crowdfunding project will have more than two tiers and if it'll include an early bird special? Thank you. Can't wait to see what it is. And he simply replied yes to both. And so, you know, they they got it. They can't come at you with all the details. It's got to be really simple, cut and dry answers, you know, just straight up yes to both. And I think this is very interesting. As you guys know, the last crowdfunder we had with the new Gen Arena, it did include tiers. It did include different details depending on how many backers it got. And it increases the quality of the Mattel crowdfunding project as a whole. You know, it, it definitely increases it. I think last year, if we had only gotten the standard of what was available, it would have been, what, the stage, the ring, and the two ultimates? And then they had to come back and throw in their own early bird special, which ended up being the crowdfund savers, what I like to call it, the Macho Man Ultimate Edition. I call that figure here on the channel, I call it the crowdfunding saver, Macho Man Randy Savage. He's the hero. Because he, if without this Macho Man Ultimate Edition that we got last year, this crowdfunder wouldn't have hit. It was very slow. Nobody wanted it. They threw in that extra Ultimate Edition. They threw in a couple more things in the tiers that we've discussed here. But that's very interesting that they're going to include an early bird special. That makes you think that it's probably going to be something that ties into what the crowdfund project is. The tiers as well. It's going to be something that ties into whatever that may be. Maybe the tiers are going to be an additional figure. Maybe the tiers are going to be additional, you know, accessories and things of that nature. I don't think that it's going to be a ring. I would be very shocked to see an Ultimate Edition ring. We've got the new Gen Arena one. we got the Attitude Era ring. I want to say that it won't be, you know, it won't be anything ring related. I guess it could be ring skirts for your new Gen Arena or ring skirts for your Attitude Era ring. I guess that could make sense, but I don't expect to get a full-fledged ring is what I'm saying in the crowd, the next crowdfund project. I don't expect to see, you know, a 2002 SmackDown ring or, or, or something of that nature. I don't expect that. I actually would kind of be disappointed in that. I don't want to see another ring for a minute. We already have two highly detailed rings on top of the pile of rings that we've seen in the past. So I don't want to see another ring. 
I think that we're going to get, you know, it says here that we're going to have more than two tiers and it'll include an early bird special. We're just obviously waiting around to see what that is. And speaking of which, I think, again, we are going to be seeing this at Access. We're going to have this revealed to us or spoken to us at Access. It's going to be revealed and I can't wait to, hopefully I'm there. I, I want to be there in a month to talk about these things in person, interview, get my own video coverage of said events. But this is the next screenshot. It says, on the amount of reveals being showcased at Access, is there going to be a is there going to be oh, is there going to be quite a bit to show just kind of worded a bit weird there but he says our wrestlemania reveal should be comparable to what we usually do at events like this and so being me i immediately went on to ringside collectibles instagram and was like okay i want to say we got revealed a lot because i remember seeing a lot of stuff i remember getting a lot of stuff back at that show and seeing and showcasing so i went back to ringside collectibles instagram page and scrolled through the wrestlemania access reveals and you know we did get some basic waves revealed to us we got to see some new basics i do believe you know we got to see that really cool tamina figure can't even believe i just said that out loud but we also got to see elite series 94 we got to see elite series 95 we got to see the new SummerSlam elites we got to see the ringside collectibles exclusive i think it was like three different ones it was the cameron grimes one you know with the money we got to see the uh the wolf pack or the the hollywood hulk hogan in the red packaging with the you know the spray painted world heavyweight championship we got to see the SummerSlam wave we got to see the ruthless aggression series number two elites and then we also got to see some of the Legends figures upcoming. We got to see the Wave with the Molly Holly, the Rey Mysterio, Farouk and Bradshaw, the Stacey Keebler, X-Pac, Lex Luger, Kane. And we also got to see the Ultimate Edition Batista and Macho Man, as well as the Mean Mark Callis and Edge Wave. And then we got to see the new Top Picks figures with Drew McIntyre and Rey Mysterio and John Cena. We also got to see the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. I can't remember if those were already out or not. I can't remember off the top of my dome if those had already been released. But I do remember we got to see the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns, and we talked about the gap in the shoulder tattoo. I remember being upset about that. We got to see, it looks like they had Alexa Bliss on display. We got the uh, WrestleMania Build-A-Figure with Vince McMahon on display as well as, and they also had the, the three-pack Brock just chilling in the corner. I remember that as well. And they had those, like, stretching figures. And, of course, they did have the, the the Attitude Era, you know, Raw is War stage with all the different characters on it. It had the Ultimate Kane. It had the Ultimate Undertaker. It had The Rock and Stone Cold and DX all over the stage. And that was a really cool piece that they showed off. I remember that being really big. And then they had that big diorama piece. And he said it should be comparable. So I imagine that, hopefully, you know, we'll get something on par with that. And then we got all the digital renders that Ringside Collectibles was posting up. You know, they showed off all those different figures and when they were coming and all those different things and these are all things that have hit retail already and that we have already had in our hands and all that different stuff so that's what's wild is that the figures that are hitting stores right now are not hitting stores specifically right now but that are in stores right now and that you could probably go into a store and find these on the shelves they have already slightly passed like we've already passed them or you can get them right now like that booker t ruthless aggression and Rey mysterio ruthless aggression figures both of those and the rvd i think are all at retail right now like the wrestlemania uh little setup thing the little shipper thing that everybody's freaking out about it has those figures on it these top talents figures and the SummerSlam elites and all elite 95 and elite 94 have been hitting for a while now so i imagine we're probably gonna see elite 101 on display maybe maybe not elite 101 maybe elite 101 will be bygone already but i expect to see elite 102 on display maybe elite 103 on display maybe that defining moments mankind the ringside exclusive that's coming soon maybe a couple new ultimates maybe the ultimate bret hart and rock will be on display regardless of the fact i am hyped for it and that that's a lot of stuff to show off like a couple elite waves you know some legends some store exclusives the next crowdfunder i think all of that will be very worth it i think that's that's pretty good right there and then the last bit of news that i have is going to be just this question here that it isn't like too too like life shattering earth just shifting the just continuum of space and time but somebody asked is any wcw ultimates or elites coming relatively soon and the and steve just said of course so i think that is something worth noting you know we get wcw ultimates and elite sometimes and so you know i i think that's you know it's, it, he says of course he said relatively soon so maybe we'll see a wcw ultimate or elite on display at wrestlemania access or announced so that should be really fun I think my most intriguing things that I'm most excited for have to be the defining moments of Ringside Exclusive Mankind and what that line entails, you know, that we saw that from way back, you know, we got to see the Mankind with the 
the tacks in his back or whatever the hell that was. Seeing that and just knowing the future of the line, I want to see that full figure and I want to know the future of the line and what other announcements and who, what characters and looks we're going to get in that line. And then the crowdfunder. Those are the two like big things I'm looking forward to the most from WrestleMania Axis. And then, you know, what the, the crowdfunder entails, what bonuses they're going to be and stuff like that. So those are my two big things. Maybe we'll even see the Ultimate Edition Cody and Logan Paul on display. Maybe that's a thing. I think that was a while back. So we've seen those. So maybe we will actually get to see those figures as well. I imagine though the Cody Rhodes should be shipping not too far in the future, man. I'd say the next one to two months we should have that figure in hand, and maybe we'll get because we got to see the prototype at the Hulk, at the Hulk Hogan Beach shop, and then uh, like that was pretty far along in the process with the jacket and stuff like that. So that's been a minute now. So hopefully we will actually see the figure on display with its packaging, with its jacket. That figure right there is phenomenal. I can't wait for that damn Cody. Oh my God in heaven. Nonetheless, that is going to wrap up the news today, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I want to know down in the comment section below what you want the crowdfunder to be. What's your expectation for that? And of it being more expensive than the last one makes sense with the, you know, the economy and the inflation and the hey, hey, it hurts me. But at the same time, I think it's going to be bigger and badder. Like, I think it's going to be worth the damn money. He, even Steve said it himself that it's going to be worth it. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm thinking something epic, man. I'm thinking like a Hell in a Cell, uh, you know, maybe an Elimination Chamber, maybe an epic stage. I don't know. I'm just so excited to find out what the hell it is, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. So subscribe to the channel. Huge shout out to our patrons over on the Patreon, man. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron, we do giveaways, extra bonus content every single month. This month, we're giving a 1 of 5,000 Chase Darby Allen away over there. So if that's something that interests you, definitely click the link in the description below. Huge shout out to our patrons over there. Love those guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.